Hello and welcome to Pabli. So in this video, we will be discussing the top 10 Google Drive automations that you can set up with Pabli Connect. So as you all know, Google Drive is one of the most popular cloud storage platform used by the masses. And in this video, we will be discussing the things that you can automate with Google Drive, like sharing a new file from your Google Drive on Telegram, Discord, or social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, or anywhere else. And not just this, we will be discussing a lot more automation use cases that you can set up with Google Drive the best of them. So without any further delay, let me take you to my screen. We'll start with the process and also we will be discussing a complete guide, a step-by-step -step process that what are these automation and how you can set up each and every automation for yourself. So let's begin with the process. Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I am going to show how you can easily save your email attachments inside your Google Drive automatically. And for this purpose, we have designed and created an automation for you. Let me show you how it is going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation here as and when you receive any email and if there is an attachment attached in this email, the same attachment is going to be saved here in your Google Drive automatically. So you need not to manually download the attachments and manually upload it here on Google Drive. So it will surely save a huge amount of your time and manual efforts. And to make this happen, we are going to use a feature of Pavli Connect, which is called Email Parcel. I'll show you how it is going to work. And guys, you can set up this automation in very few easy steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, log in into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And... Uh, to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach here. And guys here, you need to create a workflow of automation and to do that, just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Gmail to Google Drive automation okay now you have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow is getting created here like this okay and on this page guys you will find these two things the trigger and the action so this automation is going to work on these things so the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger as in our use case the trigger would be receiving of a new email with an attachment here in your Gmail inbox and the action towards that trigger would be to save the attachment in Google Drive automatically. Okay. So first of all, let's set up this trigger. So guys here in this trigger, we are going to use a feature by Pabli, which is called email parser. Okay. So search for email parser here. So guys, what email parser will do? Guys, email parser will fetch out the details or parse out the, the data of the email that you're receiving on any particular email account. And the same email is going to be captured on this address. You can see when I selected email parser, it has given us this email address. Okay. So whenever you receive an email with the help of this feature, the same email is going to be captured on this address and you will see the details of the emails along with the attachments here in this response. Okay. So this is the, uh, this is the functioning of email parser and how we can use this. Let me show you. So guys, you just have to copy this forwarding email address from here like this. Okay. So you can see it, it started showing waiting for email parser response. Okay. Now guys, uh, you have to open your Gmail inbox from where you want to fetch out the emails. Okay. Or the email attachments. So guys, this is my email, uh, Gmail inbox. Okay. And here, whenever I receive an email with an attachment, I want to save the attachment in my drive. Okay. So here you have to click on the settings icon, then click on see all settings. And from here, guys, you will find this forwarding and pop IMAP option. Click on this option. And here you will find this add a forwarding address button. Click on add a forwarding address. And here you have to paste the email address that you got here. Copy this email address and paste it here in this forwarding address field like this. 
then click on next and from this window you have to select proceed okay click on proceed and it is saying a confirmation code has been sent to this email address okay so click on okay here and here you can see in your response receive section in your workflow we got the response here okay as you clicked on proceed we got the response here and here guys when you scroll down you will find a label which is called body text and in the body text label here <clears throat> when you open it you will find a verification code attached in this uh, body text you can see this is the code confirmation code okay so you have to copy this code guys copy this code and paste this code here in this confirmation code field like this okay then click on verify okay so you can see this uh, uh, email parser address got verified now uh, check this button check this bullet okay select this forward a copy of incoming mails to this okay then scroll down and click on save changes and you can see it started showing this you are forwarding your emails to this address okay now this means whenever you receive a new email here with the attachment the data of that same email will be parsed here and you will see it here in this response let me show you first of all uh, let's click on recapture email parser response click on yes and you can see it started showing waiting for the response again okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to open another email account of mine okay and this email account belongs to uh, mr akib khan okay and this is the email address where we have attached the parser and this email address belongs to miss ashirai okay now i am going to send an email from this account to this account where we have attached the email parser okay so let me compose a mail here to miss ashirai subject is new email with attachment and here let me attach a file so here i have written this email hello here is a new logo for you thanks and regards and here i have attached a file which is a png file you can see now i'm going to click on send and you can see the message was sent here now let's check if we got a new email and here you can see we got the new email from Akib Khan with this subject or a new email with attachment and this is the uh, this is the text and this is the file attached now guys let's check in public connect if we have received the data of this email in our response or not and here you can see uh, we have received the response like this it is showing from name uh, we have received this mail from Akib Khan this is the from person's address okay and here is the subject the subject is new um, email with attachment okay and here when you scroll down you will find all the things related to this email and you will find the attachment also here in the body text you can see we got the emails uh, uh, data okay and in the attachment link you can see we got the attachment which is this okay so here you can check this is the same file that I have sent which is received here in the parser response this is the same file I have attached here in this email you can see right so now we got the data of the email received here in public connect now I want to save this same attachment inside my Google Drive for that to happen you have to connect your Google Drive here in the section step so search for Google Drive here and in the action event select upload a file option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with google drive and from here you have to select your uh, drives account okay then you have to provide some additional access to public connect so click on continue here and you can see we are getting connected here right now it is asking for the URL that you want to upload the file URL the folder ID and the file name 
okay so guys this is my drive you can see and here is a folder i have created named as yours wedding okay so i want to let's say save the attachments here only okay so guys here in this url field i am going to map this file url that we have that we have uh, got here in this first step okay so this is the attachments url so i am going to map this here so to map it here you just have to click here and you will find this email parser step in the drop down on for, and from here only when you scroll down in the last you will get this attachment link map it and for the folder id you need to open your folder and when you open your folder you will see in this top search bar uh, in the last in the address you will see this string of integers and alphabets just copy this string okay copy this and paste it here and this is the folder id guys right so for giving a name to this file that you are saving you can use the uh, data that you have received here from the email parser okay so here you can see we got the data of the person who have sent us the email we got the name of that person okay so i'm just going to uh, map this display label okay so i want to uh, save the file in uh, on the name of the person who have sent us this file okay so to map the name just click here and from this email parsers tab just map the name of the person and then you can check your connection with your google drive by clicking on save and send test request and you will see a new file getting saved here let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and here you can see we got this type of response let's check in our drive if we got a new file and here you can see a new file got saved here with this name akib khan and the file is the same file that we have received here in the attachment in our email and we got this file saved here in our google drive automatically okay so we are done setting up this automation and that is working fine let me just show you how we have done this so first of all in the trigger i used email parser feature by pably to parse out the emails from a particular email inbox and after that i fetched the response of a uh, demo email like this and we have received the data like this and after that in the google drive i connected in the action step i connected google drive and map the data like this of a file and when you map the data like this what will happen whenever you receive a new email this data is going to change and a new file will be saved here automatically so you need to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that it is going to work automatically and guys the best part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushikara Sethia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how you can share files from Google Drive to Telegram channel automatically. So first let us understand what these software applications are all about. So Google Drive is a cloud based storage service where you can store, share and access your files online. And Telegram is a chat and communication platform or you can say it as a messaging platform. So the idea here is that you are a business owner and you are uploading your business related images in your Google Drive specific folder and you have a large audience on your Telegram channel. Now you want that whenever you upload a new image or a new document in your Google Drive folder automatically the same image should be shared with all your audience on your telegram channel and that to automatically. For this we need to create a connection between Google Drive and telegram. So in order to create a connection we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Google Drive with telegram automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. Welcome back to my screen. Here let us type p-a-b-b-l-y pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, 
I'll simply click on sign in. In the All App section, come to Public Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Public Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give it as Google Drive to Telegram Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Public Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever we upload some new files in our Google Drive specific folder, automatically the same files or the images should be shared on our Telegram account. For that, just open this trigger window and we are going to select the application name as Google Drive. So we are going to create a connection between Google Drive and Public Connect at the trigger step over here. Now we have to select the trigger event as new file in specific folder. Now let's click on connect. Here we have to click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Drive. Now it is asking me to choose an account to continue to public connect drive. So let's choose the account from here. Public connect drive wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, so let's click on continue and give away the access over here. Authorization successful. And now the Google Drive account is connected to Public Connect. So as we have created a connection here, we can find all the folders that we have created in our Google Drive account. Okay, all these are the folders. So I'll just take you to my Google Drive account where I have already created a folder named to Telegram. Okay, so now I want that whenever I upload a new file to this particular uh, folder named to Telegram, it should be sent to my another application uh, that is on Telegram. For that, I have to just make this folder a shareable one. So click on this share button. And here we have to just click on this change button. And we have to select the option as anyone with the link. Okay. So anyone with this link or anyone on the internet with this link can view. So let's click on done. Okay. Now we have to move back to public connect and we have to say, uh, select the same folder name over here also. That is to telegram. Now, before clicking on save and send test request, first we have to upload a new file in this particular folder just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So, let's move back to Telegram uh, folder, sorry, Google Drive folder. Here we have to just click on this plus sign, new and click on file upload. And here I'm going to just uh, select this core integrations image. The image is getting uploaded. Okay, and here we can see the image is uploaded named core integrations.png. Okay, so let's move back to Public Connect and now we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the file are captured over here. And when we scroll down, here we can find the link, the web content link. Okay, and even when we scroll down, here we can find the file name also, that is Core Integrations. Now here we can see that in the file name, we have got the extension also, that is .png. But we don't want to send this .png file extension along with the file name to our Telegram channel. So we have to just remove it. Okay. For that, scroll down, come to this action step and choose the application name as text formatter. Select the action event as split text. Click on connect. And now it is connected. Now here we have to map the text that needs to be splitted. So we want the file name. This is the title to get splitted. So we have to map this particular title over here. So let us map it from Google Drive. That is core integrations. Now here we have to give the separator. So I'm giving the separator as this dot sign. Okay. And here we have to select the segment index. So I want the segment index to be the first over here. Okay. Because I want the first data to be captured. So let us select the segment index as first and click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we have got the file name as core integrations and the .png file extension is just removed. 
So now we want to share it on Telegram. For that, click on this plus sign, add action step. Choose the application name as Telegram bot. Select the action event as send a document or an image. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the token. So you have to follow these instructions to get the token. So I'll just directly take you to my Telegram account. And here in the search bar, we have to search for bot father. Okay, this is the bot father. Click on it. Okay, so here we have to just click on this restart bot button. Now here we have to send a message that is slash new bot. Alright, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So we have to give a name to our bot. So let us give it as Google Drive. Google underscore drive underscore one. Okay. Good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in the bot. Okay. So here I am just giving the username that is Google Drive. Under, Google underscore drive underscore one underscore bot. Okay. Done. Congratulations on your new bot. You will find it at this particular URL. So we have created a new bot and if you want to access it, you can just click it over here. And here we can find our new bot created that is Google underscore drive underscore one. Okay. Now let's move back to our bot father. And here we can find the token. So here we have got the bot link and here we have got the token. So we have to just copy this token from here and we have to paste it over here in public connect to create the connection. Okay, and let's click on save. And now the Telegram bot is connected to public connect just because I was already logged into my Telegram account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your Telegram account. Now here it is asking for the chat ID. So you can just follow these instructions to uh, obtain your chat ID or else I will directly take you to my Telegram account. Okay, here I have already created some groups that is public integrations and public team. So now I want all the uh, files to be delivered on this public integrations group. Okay. For that I have to just add the bot over here in this particular group. So I am just going to click on this plus sign add users. And here I am just going to add my bot that is Google Drive. One. Okay. This was my bot. I will be adding this bot as a new member to our public integrations group. Okay. So here. We can see that Google Drive bot is added to our group. Now we have to give the admin rights to this particular bot for this group that is public integrations. So I will not be able to do it from my telegram web. So I am just using my telegram app from my mobile phone. Okay. So it's very easy. You can just promote it to the admin from the settings option and you can make your bot as admin for this particular group. So it is done now. Now we have to get the chat ID. So here we can find the chat ID that is from the URL. So I'll just copy this number that is dash 78224548. I'm just going to copy it from here and I'll be pasting it over here in public connect as a chat ID. Okay. Now here it is asking for the caption file UID or the file URL. So we have already got these details from our trigger step, uh, trigger response. Okay. So we are going to map these details now. Okay. Let's scroll down and let us map them one by one. Here we have to map the caption. So we have uh, split the text for using the text formatter. So this will be the caption that is core integrations. And here we have to map the URL or the file ID. For that we have to come to our Google Drive and from here we are going to get a uh, link that is web content link. Okay. Now it is asking for the pass mode. So I am selecting it as HTML and disable notifications. You can select it as per your requirement. I am just keeping it as no. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the file is shared on our Telegram group. Let's check it. Okay, and here we have got a new file that is core integrations. Let's open it. Okay, and here we can find the correct image. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine and the correct image is shared on our Telegram group. So let's close this window and let's move back to public connect and I'm going to save this workflow first. 
data safe successfully okay so as we have created an automation between google drive and telegram next time whenever you are going to upload a new file in your a google drive specific folder automatically the same file will be shared on your telegram group so let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'll just move to my google drive folder and here i'm just going to upload a new file by clicking on this plus sign new button and click on file upload and let us select the image as new use cases for pabli connect Okay, so the file is uploaded over here. Now let's check our Telegram group. We have to just refresh it, and even after refreshing, we can't find the file details shared on our group just because the trigger here is polling based, and it will take time to capture the response. So let's wait for some time. Okay, and here we can see that after some time, the file was shared on our group. New use cases for PabliConnect.png. Okay. So this is uh, the file. Let's open it, okay? And here we can find the correct images shared. So in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect, and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So I'll just minimize this trigger step as well as the action step also. So first, we have created an integration between Google Drive and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of your new file that you have uploaded in your specific Google Drive folder. then we have used text formatter just because we have got the file name along with the file extension so using this split text option we have just removed the file extension from the file name and using these details of the file automatically the same file or the same uh, image was shared on our telegram uh, group and in this way we have created a successful integration between google drive and telegram using public connect hello everyone So in this video we will learn how to automatically send digital downloads with Razer Pay and Google Drive. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see I'm going to work with three apps here Razer Pay, Google Drive as well as Gmail. So the idea is that if a payment is made on Razer Pay a file that is present in my Google Drive will be shared to the customer who has made the purchase on his Gmail account. So let us do the experiment. So we have a person called as Amy Alexander. So the first name is Amy the last name is Alexander we have the email as amy2604 at the rate gmail.com so the idea is that we will be sending an email containing this uh, particular uh, file that is java for kids to this email address so this is the email address okay and this is basically the phone number and this is the payment amount so the payment form has been filled and is going to be submitted by Amy Alexander okay so Amy is just choosing for cards and she is going to enter the card details this is amy cvv and she is going to complete the purchase by clicking on skip saving card okay so the payment has been completed let me just click on success okay excellent payment is successful now the idea is that this particular file that is java for kids that is uh, stored as a pdf in my google drive will be made available to amy on her email address so as you can see it is already showing that i have shared the file automatically to amy okay so as you can see this is the file java for kids so amy is just going to click on this file and then she is going to uh, read or view the file so you must be thinking how did i do it how did i manage to automatically send the digital file present in my google drive to customer's email address after the purchase has been made by him on razer pay So basically here I have used an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Razer Pay to Google Drive. Now the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or technical background. It can be done easily. So basically I am just going to show you all the steps to integrate Razer Pay and Google Drive. Okay so to begin the process in the new tab just type pabli.com p a b l y .com pabli.com press enter. So this is the website of pabli.com just hover on products and here you will find connect just click on connect Okay so this is the landing page of pabli connect all you have to do is just click on sign up for free here you can build your own account in just 2 minutes in my case i have already built an account so let me just click on sign in Okay so this is the app section of pabli let me just scroll down here you will find connect just click on access now 
Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm planning to give it as Razor Pay, Razor Pay to Google Drive. Google Drive. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with these two windows? So when we talk about automation in Pabbly Connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. The trigger here is an if statement. It asks a question if this happens, what should be done? For example, if a new payment is made in Razorpay, the action will be the file will be delivered from your Google Drive to the purchaser's Gmail account. So basically, the idea is that using the trigger window as well as this action window, we are going to create a workflow to re integrate Razorpay to Google Drive. Now after we have built the workflow that has integrated Razorpay to Google Drive, I will make sure the link of this workflow is available in the description box. Ok, so let's go to the trigger window. Now here we are going to select the app as Razorpay. Razorpay it is. Ok, so now basically in the trigger event, how about we make it as Payment Captured. Now Payment Captured is a trigger event. We do have a ton of trigger events like Payment Authorized, Payment Dispute Won, Payment Dispute Lost. All of them are trigger events. But in case if you want more trigger events, just approach the help section. So when you click on the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums. And in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. Okay, but at present, I'm just happy with the trigger event that is payment captured. So the idea is that whenever a new payment is made in Razorpay, Pabli Connect will capture the data. So first of all, we are going to integrate Razorpay to Pabli Connect. Okay, so this is the first step. So let us have a visit to Razorpay dashboard. Okay, so this is the Razorpay dashboard. Now we do have a set of instructions here. We just have to follow them. So here it is saying go to settings and webhooks. So settings, so where is our settings? Okay, so this is the settings. And as you can see, these are all the webhooks that I have created. Now I am working with trial account. So there is a limitation that I can only create five webhooks, but it should not concern you. So now what's the next step? Click on setup webhook. So I'm just going to click on add new webhook. Okay, so now it is mentioning we have to enter the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL you want. You simply copy this and you just paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the webhook URL. Now coming to this part that is active event. So in active event, we have to make sure that it is payment captured from active event section. Payment captured. Okay, that's done. So in case of secret, we don't have to do anything. The alert email will be basically the same email with which you have logged in. And all you have to do at this point is just click on create webhooks. So the webhook has been saved successfully. Excellent. So at present it is showing it is waiting for the data. Basically it means that if we make a payment on Razorpay, it will capture the detail. So let's have a look. So I'm just going to uh, go to a payment page. Okay. So I'm interested in this particular page, online courses. I'm just going to copy the checkout URL and open this in a new tab. Press enter. Okay, so now we are going to fill some details. So here are the details of the person. We have a guy called as uh, Darius. Then this is the last name that is Moravik. We have the email. So this is the email. Let me just paste the email address of Darius Moravik. So on this email address, we will be sending this particular file that is Java for kids. Okay. And uh, this is uh, Darius phone number. Okay. So let me just enter the phone number and the total amount is 1300 and let me just click on pay. Okay, so let's uh, go with the card. So these are the card details of uh, Terrace. And let me just click on pay. Skip saving card. Okay, so let me just click on success. So a payment of 1300 has been made by a person called as Terrace Moravik. Okay, excellent. So the idea is that Terrace Moravik will be getting an email and this email will be containing this particular pdf okay now before that let us have a look whether Pabli connect has captured the detail or not okay yes the details has been captured so the event is a payment captured and this is the amount but unfortunately it is showing the amount with two extra zeros but it is actually none of our concern at this point we have uh, the details of the person okay so this is the email address this is the phone number this is the first name this is the last name so we have got all the details so the idea is that we are going to send this particular folder, I mean this particular file that is java2.pdf, java for kids to uh, Terrace. Okay, and this is how you do it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to introduce the action window. Now remember this, this particular file that is java2 is present in my Google Drive. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the choose app as Google Drive. Google Drive it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as share a file. Where is share a file? This one. And let me just click on connect. We are going with a new connection and let me just click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so my Google Drive's name is Aaron Manuel. Okay, so this is the Google Drive. Okay, so this is the Google Drive. Let me just show you the Google Drive. Let me just close this. So this is the Google Drive. Okay, and uh, the name of the Google Drive is uh, Aaron Manuel. It is a part of uh, Aaron Manuel 1991 at the gmail.com, my Gmail account. So the idea is that we are going to connect with this particular Google Drive in which my file is present. So I'm just let me just click on this particular uh, Gmail account and just click on allow authorization successful excellent okay now by default it is showing the file id as public connect integration main sheet now these are all the files that is present in my google drive account now i'm interested in this particular file java2.pdf so we have selected it now we have to map the email address all we have to do is just map this particular email address okay so this is the email address we want or you can go with this one also okay it's totally dependent on you so I'm just going to click here, okay, click here. And this is the email address we want. So it is Moravic 663 yes. And we have mapped it. Now, since this is a PDF, it doesn't really matter if the person can edit, comment, or view. Let me just keep, let's me, let me just keep on the default role that is can view. So at this point to send this uh, PDF that is Java 2 or Java programming for kids. So all you have to do is just click on save and send us request. Okay, so the response is a positive one. So let me just straight away take you to Terry's email account. So yes, he has received a file from me. And this is the file Java 2 that is Java for kids. Excellent. So the presence of this particular file in Terry's email account shows that we have a successful integration between Razorpay and Google Drive. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize the action window. And let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Razorpay to Public Connect, and then you have integrated Public Connect to Google Drive. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Razorpay and Google Drive. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, here in this video, we are going to learn how to save new Telegram files to Google Drive automatically. Suppose my company members uses Telegram to share some important files. And I want those files to be saved in my Google Drive account automatically. But the problem here is the direct connection between Telegram and Google Drive is kind of limited. That's why we are going to use an integration and automation software in this video. That is Public Connect with the help of which we can connect Telegram with Google Drive directly. So that whenever a new file arrives on Telegram, it will automatically saved in Google Drive account too. And the best part here is the process that we are going to use in this video requires no coding skills or programming knowledge. So let's begin with an example. Okay, so this is my Telegram web account and this is my Google Drive. Here from Telegram, I'm uploading or I'm sending one image or any kind of message and we'll see whether the file arrives in Google Drive or not. Okay, so here from this group, I'm sending image to this group. Okay, so I'm just co simply copying it. Okay, this image and just copying it. Okay, and this group, I want to send the image in this group. Okay, so here I'm pasting it and just removing this extra text. Okay, so here I have pasted and I'm just checking whether the image get there or not. Okay, so yeah, press enter. So this is the file and I'm just going back to Google Drive and just checking whether it get posted there or not. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, we have got this image here. That means our connection worked. Okay, now to learn the process and to initiate the process, just click on this new tab and type pably.com in your browser. Pably.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. That's how you will reach to the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to click on sign in. As I have already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So click on sign in. 
okay this is my account here i'm clicking on connect access now okay so this is the dashboard of public connect here we are going to create a workflow with the help of this create workflow button okay so here i'm typing the name of workflow and that is telegram to google drive okay now click on create Okay, so this is the name of your workflow and here I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so whenever you will click on this create button, this window will appear. This is known as trigger window. You might be thinking or the question arising is what is this trigger or what is this trigger window? So let me tell you automation works on the concept of triggers and action. Trigger says, when this happens, action says do this. Suppose in this use case, Telegram to Google Drive, whenever a new file is arrived or received on Telegram will be trigger and upload it to Google Drive automatically will be action. So for that, we have to choose the trigger application first. Here we are choosing trigger application as Telegram bot. Okay. So this is telegram bot and here we have to choose the trigger event for that just click on set webhook or watch updates okay now we have to connect our telegram with pabli so let me tell you one more thing how it works is firstly telegram bot will connect it to pabli and then it will get connected to google drive that's how it will work so first of all we have to connect our telegram with pabli so click on this connect button okay whenever you click on connect this window will appear and here you have to mention the token id of your telegram bot for that you have to follow these steps and before adding before clicking on this let me just go back to this telegram web or you can directly go there here you have to go on this search bar and you have to type bot father here okay here here these are already created token i'm showing you how to create a new token okay so here just write or type new bot and press enter okay all right a new bot here we are going to call how are we going to call it please choose a name for it so i'm choosing it as y e y one two three four and press enter Okay, so this is our name. Now we have to add a suffix to it as bot. So I'm adding it as yey1234 underscore bot. Okay, perfect. Now enter. Okay, done. Congratulations on your new bot. You will find it. Okay, here we will find our bots. So firstly, we have to click on this. Okay, and click on start. Okay, so here we have got this username and we have got this bot. Now I'm going back to this bot father. Okay, this is your username. Now what you have to do is you have to make this user as the admin of your particular group where you are receiving or receiving or getting messages. Okay, so for that suppose I'm having this group. So I will make this user as admin of this group. But as i'm using web telegram i will be unable to make this admin make this user as admin so i'm directly using my previous token id okay suppose this one okay so i'm using this id and here i'm copying it and pasting it to public connect in this token section okay now paste it and save it okay now we have successfully connected our telegram bot with pabli okay now here you have to save and send as request just click on it and here webhook url will be taken by itself and here i'm clicking on save and send as request okay so webhook was set now we are completely done with webhook setup okay now i'm going to click on this capture webhook response just to make you know that we will be sending one image and see whether it got response here or not so going back to telegram web and here i'm just show showing you that this is my random testing group where, where i'm just copying this image or 
this image anyone and i'll just show you whether it get response in that public connect or not okay so i'm just randomly copying it from any other group and this is my particular group okay so here yeah i've pasted this and uh, yeah here it is sent now i'm going back to public connect just to see whether it get the response or not so here it is okay so we have got the response and in the group that is chat title public test and it is a group okay and this is our url okay let me just do it okay so this is our url and the title okay now these two things are together so just to make them separate let's add another action window with the help of this plus button and here we are choosing a text formatter by pabli okay so this is text formatter and here the event is split text okay why we are doing this because this is combinedly showing it so we have to separate these two that means name and this url okay so yeah here we will connect it and here we have to mention the text to split and we can map it from the above trigger window so here fields will be visible that is first text to split we have this text okay so here we have to add a separator we have to use this space thing so here i'm just copying it directly you can also copy it and here i'm pasting it okay so here all the segment yes okay so here now we have done with the details now i'm going to click on save and send this request okay so we have splitted our text image is gone separated for test that means whichever text is containing space in it it got separated okay and this is the url image url okay now we are done with our pabli and telegram bot integration so now we are connecting pabli with google drive so here click on this plus button and here choose an action app for that we are choosing google drive okay and here we are choosing action event as upload a file okay upload a file yeah here it is okay so here we have to connect our google drive with pabli for that just click on this connect button and click on connect with google drive and you have to choose the account where you want to upload or save file so i want to save in this account that's why i'm directly clicking on it and here pabli will ask for the permission you can trust pabli and just click on allow it is 100% safe to use okay so authorization is successful now here url folder id file name we will map the details from the above two windows okay so here the url is from the split text okay this is the url okay and here folder id now i'm going back to this google drive just to make you know that how we will get the folder id okay so this is my folder my drive and image is folder and here in the above search bar you can see that this folder thing so here you have to copy the last text that will be your folder id okay so go back to public connect and just paste it over here wonderful now here file name we want to add file name as image okay space again split text for again space and again test okay so this is our file name here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay yeah we have got the response and we that means we have received our image in google drive so let us check one more time okay so this is image for test we have received this image from telegram to google drive okay now i'm going back to public connect and here i'm just minimizing these two windows actually three windows okay 
So yeah, what we have done? We have connected Telegram to Google Drive. Firstly, we have connected Telegram with Pabli and then Pabli with Google Drive. So here in the middle, we have added a text formatter because the text was together. We wanted to separate our image name, our file name and URL separately. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to share Google Drive files on Facebook page. So basically, we are going to begin with a small example. So this is my Google Drive and I'm going to upload an image. OK, so basically the image is the file. So let me just upload an image. So I'm planning to upload the image, let's say Bugatti. Let me just randomly type it. OK, so I'm uploading the images of car. The name of the car is Bugatti. The file is getting uploaded. So basically, the idea is that once the file or the image in this case is uploaded, it will be reflected as a post on Facebook page. So the file has been uploaded. Now I'm just straight away taking it to my Facebook page and let me just show you. So this is the page and it has been titled my page. And let me just refresh this page to show you the post that has been created. Okay, so as you can see, we have got the image. So basically it is now published as a post on Facebook. Now there is something you have to know that uh, Google Drive actually takes an appreciable amount of time to send the data. Maybe you have to wait 5 or 10 minutes, but not more than that. Maybe 5-10 minutes, that's all. Okay, so now your obvious question is, how did I do it? How did I manage to create a Facebook post from the file uploaded in Google Drive? So basically, here I have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Google Drive and Facebook. Now the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me just show you the process. So in the new tab, let me just type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Google Drive and Facebook. Now, before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, this is an integration that has integrated Google Drive as well as Facebook. So I'm going to switch off this workflow. The reason is if we upload one, the reason is since we are going to create a new workflow, this old workflow will create the problem of duplication of result. Basically, if we upload one image in Google Drive, there will be two posts in Facebook because there are two workflows running in parallel to each other. So to avoid the duplication of results, I have switched off this workflow. It is actually none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so we are going to give a name to this workflow. How about Google Drive? To Facebook. Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's totally up to you. Okay, let me just click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is basically the trigger window. In the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive. Google Drive it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file in specific folder. Okay, so new file in specific folder is a trigger event. So basically, the idea is that when a new file is uploaded in a specific folder, the data will be given in Google Drive. So first of all, let me just click on connect. Okay, and here again, just click on connect with Google Drive. So basically, it is asking me to choose an account. Now my Google Drive, the Google Drive I'm using presently is present in this Gmail account. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so it is asking me to confirm my choice. Let me just press allow. Authorization complete. Okay, just press OK. So as you can see, there's a field that is folder. It is showing the folder as pictures. So this is because there is a folder called as picture. Let me just straight away take you to my drive page. So this is the home page of my drive. And as you can see, there is a folder called as picture. So the idea is that once an image is uploaded in the folder that is specified here, and when we click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created file in this particular folder. Let me show you. Let me first create a new folder. So let me just create a new folder. Files uploaded for Facebook. Okay, so this is the name of the folder files uploaded for Facebook. Let me just click on create. Okay, so the folder has been created files uploaded for Facebook. I'm just going to uh, enter a new image. So let me just uh, upload an image. Now before I upload an image, there is something I have to show you. 
So I'm just going to refresh this. Okay, so when I click on refresh, I can expect to find this newly created folder in the drop down. Yes, we do have this folder files uploaded for Facebook. So when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created, recently uploaded file in this particular folder. Let me show you. Okay, so unfortunately, it is showing nil response. This is because we haven't uploaded any folder, any file in this particular folder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to upload a new file. Okay. So let's say I'm going to upload an image called as Ferrari. So this is the image Ferrari.png. Let me just click on open. Okay, so the file is getting uploaded. Okay, so the upload is complete. Ferrari.png. Excellent. So once again, let me go to Public Connect and this time when I click on save and send test request, it will definitely show the result of Ferrari. Let me just show you. Okay, so as you can see, it is showing some data. So the data it is showing is of Ferrari. Okay, so Ferrari.png. So this is because Ferrari is the recently uploaded file. Okay, now basically the idea is that we have to make this file a shareable one. So again, in the new window, we are going to choose app as Google Drive. Okay, and in the action event, we are going to make it as a shareable one. In the action event, let me just click on share a file. Okay, I'm sorry, share a file with anyone. I'm sorry, share a file with anyone. So this is the one we want, action event, share a file with anyone. Let me just click on connect. Connect with Google Drive. Okay, of course, you know the drill. Okay, press allow. Authorization complete, just press OK. So as you can see, file ID is showing Bugatti.png. Okay, by default, it is showing Bugatti.png. But uh, unfortunately, we have uploaded uh, this file that is Ferrari.png. So basically, we have different file. So nothing to worry, we just uh, change it to Ferrari.png. But the problem is this is a static ID. We want a dynamic ID. So basically, this is your dynamic ID. Okay, let me just show you. This is the ID of your file that is Ferrari. Okay, so basically we have to map this particular detail here. So I'm going to toggle this to the right, remove this, and I'm going to map the detail. So this is something you get from the first accordion and you have mapped it. Easy? Okay. So all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to make it a shareable one. Okay, so as you can see, it is showing anyone with a link. So basically all you have to do is just give the person this link. So basically let me show you the link. Okay, so this is the link. You basically give him this link and without opening his, uh, without opening my Google Drive, he can actually download the image or just view the image. So now what are we going to do here is we are going to uh, uh, enter this uh, or post this uh, link on Facebook. Okay, so before I do that, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, we need the title in case of Facebook. So let me just show you. So as you can see, the title is Bugatti. But uh, if we map this title, it will show Bugatti.png. We don't want that. We have to remove that .png. So to do that, let me introduce uh, text formatter. In the choose app, let me just add text formatter. Text formatter by Pabli. In the action event, let me just click on split text. Click on connect. Okay, so the text to split is basically Ferrari.png. Let me just map this. And the separator is basically the dot. And let me just click on first, make it as first. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, we have isolated the word Ferrari from Ferrari.png. So we can have the title of the post. Okay, so let us uh, deal with Facebook. So again, on the, in different action window, we are just going to make Facebook. And this time here, we are going to select Facebook pages. In the action event, how about we make it as create page post. Click on connect. In the new connection name, let me just click on connect with Facebook pages. Okay. Authorization some complete, press OK. So by default it is showing some fields. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, I'm going to select a page. So in my case, I'm going to select this page, my page. So basically these are all the pages that is present in my Facebook account. Let me just show you, let me just show you all the pages that is present in my Facebook account. So these are all the pages. Okay, all the pages that is present here is being simply reflected here. Now out of all these pages, I'm interested in this one, my page, I'm selecting this one. Now with regard to this page access token, we don't have to do anything, just leave it as like that only. Now in case of message, 
the message is basically the post title so this is our post title you will get something that from the third accordion ferrari okay now coming to the link url you basically just simply map the link url so this is your link url okay r is to web link okay web view link and you just map this all you have to do is just click on save and send test request okay so it is getting created the post is getting created okay so it has given a positive response let me just test straight away take you to the page okay so the name of the page was my page let me just go back okay and let me just show you the page and let me just show you the post so the post is of ferrari let me just refresh this okay let me check whether we have mentioned the page yes my page it's okay so let's have a look yeah we do have the post ferrari and this is the image of the post excellent so basically this is the whole process now before you leave let me just uh, explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm just going to minimize all of my windows one by one okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated google drive to public connect and then you have uploaded a image or a specific file in a specific folder after that you have made that file a shareable one then you have introduced this action window that is the text formatter basically to remove .png basically to remove the file extension and after that you have introduced this action window to create a page post excellent so now there is a perfect flow of data between google drive and facebook hey everyone in this video we are going to learn how you can transfer files present in your onedrive account to google drive automatically this will help you to create a backup in real time without any manual efforts. But the problem and issue here is there is no direct connection between OneDrive and Google Drive. To build a connection, I'm going to use an integration and automation software that is Public Connect, with the help of which we will be able to sync OneDrive with Google Drive so that whenever a new file arrives in OneDrive, it will automatically get uploaded in Google Drive. And the best part of using Public Connect is it doesn't require any kind of coding skills or programming knowledge. Now let's begin with an example. Okay, so this is my OneDrive account and here I have created this resume folder which contains one resume image. And this is my Google Drive account where I have created this candidate resume folder where I want those files to be uploaded. Okay, so I'm just clicking on new tab and here I'm typing pabli.com press enter okay so this is the site of pabli here you have to click on products you have to click on connect then and that's how you will reach to the landing page of pabli connect here again you have to click on sign in as i have already created my account that's why i'm directly signing in you can also create your free account just in two minutes so click on sign in this is my account here i'm going to click on connect access now Okay, that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. And here you have to name the workflow that is OneDrive to Google Drive. Wonderful. Now click on create. This is the name of workflow and before proceeding further, let me just mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can clone it and directly access it in your account. So whenever you'll click on create, this window will appear. This window is known as trigger window and this is trigger. You might be thinking what is trigger or what is trigger window. So let me tell you, automation works on the concept of triggers and actions. Trigger says when this happens, an action says do this. So in this use case, whenever a new file arrives in OneDrive will be a trigger and upload it to Google Drive automatically will be action. So for this, we have to choose that is trigger application and that is OneDrive. Okay. Microsoft OneDrive. Wonderful. And here I have to choose a trigger event that is new file. Okay, now firstly, we have to connect Microsoft OneDrive with our Pabli account and for this, we have to click on this connect button. Click on connect with Microsoft OneDrive. Okay. And it will ask for the access. So just click on yes, it is 100% safe to use Pabli.
okay so the authorization is successful click on okay that's how we have connected microsoft onedrive with pably now here we have to set the folder path for that we have to follow this format that means slash format okay so here i'm just copying it for instance and just pasting over here okay i'm just still erasing it okay now i'm just going back to my onedrive account just to see the path okay so documents pably and resume is the path here i'm going back to pably connect and just mentioning the path okay so that is pably slash resume okay so this is my folder path and here i have to just click on the new event type that is new file created okay you have to follow these steps for this folder path and just click on save and send test request okay that's how we got the response we have got this url just keep in mind we will be requiring this in the next step and this is the name that is julia resume julia okay so we are done with it okay now i'm scrolling it here i'm just saving it okay now we have successfully connected our pably account to microsoft onedrive now we are going to connect pably with google drive for that add an action window with the help of this plus button and here we have to choose action app as google drive so this is the google drive okay here we have to choose an action event that is upload a file okay here it is upload a file wonderful now we have to connect our pably with google drive for that we have to click on this connect and we have to connect with google drive okay here it will ask for the account that you want to connect with pably so i'm clicking on this account and here it will ask for the access so you can trust pably it is 100 percent safe and click on this allow button okay again the authorization is successful here we have to type or we have to mention the url for that i'm just mentioning the or mapping the data that is from here okay so url is done and here folder id this folder id will be the id of the folder that you want in in which you want to upload your file in google drive so for that i'm going back to this google drive and here this is my folder and i'm copying this text this last text up to folder slash and i'm just copying it and going back to pably connect and here i'm just pasting it in the folder id section okay so it is done and i'm just mapping the file name that is resume julia okay so i have done with these details so i'm just clicking on save and send test request just to check okay so we have got the response again and this time we have successfully connected pably to google drive now i'm going back to this google drive candidate resume folder just to check whether it got the file or not okay so we have got this file here too that means from this we have got the file in google drive too that means our connection of two applications with the help of pably is successful okay so here the syncing got successful now i'm going back to this resume onedrive folder i'm uploading another file files okay so i'm uploading this resume michael resume okay so here open and it is uploading okay so it is successfully uploaded now i'm going back to candidate resume folder of google drive just to check once okay okay so we have got this resume here too in google drive that means the syncing of one drive and google drive went successful now i'm going back to this pably connect and here i'm just clicking on these two steps okay so that's how it went first of all we have connected microsoft onedrive with pably in this way and then we have connected 
Pabli to Google Drive in this way. That means URL, we have mapped URL and then we have mentioned the folder ID, then file name and then save and send as request. Okay, that's how we have connected. Okay. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send new Google Drive files to Discord channel. So imagine this, you are uploading the images into Google Drive. So the idea is that once an image or a file is uploaded in Google Drive, the link of the image or the file will be shared in Discord so that your team members or your followers can use it. So here you have two choices. The first choice is download the image or the file from Google Drive and upload or share it on Discord manually. Now this approach is actually very repetitive and tiresome considering you will be uploading many many images or files in Google Drive. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that when a file is created or uploaded in Google Drive, automatically send the file link on Discord. So in this video we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Drive and Discord. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so this is my Google Drive and what I'm going to do here is I'm just uh, I'm just going to upload an image. So let me just uh, upload an image. So let me go to file upload and I'm going to upload some image of a car. Let's say I'm going to upload, um, let me just go to the quick access and here I'm just going to upload an image. Okay, how about Bugatti? Okay, so this is a PNG image. Okay, remember I have kept a PNG image and this is of Bugatti, Bugatti Chiron. So it is getting uploaded. Okay, so pretty much it is uploaded. Excellent. Now the idea is that in our Discord, we will be getting a message. So let me just uh, take you to Discord. Okay. And the idea is that we will be getting the message that this link has been, this uh, file or this image has been uploaded and the link will be present there. So the Discord will is loading. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the link of the image in Discord. So let us uh, explore the link. I have uh, switched on this link. Okay, so this is the link. Let it load. So let's explore. Do we have the same image of Bukati? Okay. Yeah, we do have the same image of Bukati. This is the same image that we had uploaded. We can see this is the same image that we had uploaded. So we have got the image link in Discord. Now basically this is the whole process. You upload a file or an image in uh, your Google Drive. It will be shared as a link on Discord. Now to begin the actual integration process in the new tab, let me just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Google Drive and Discord. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own account in just two minutes. So let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow. Now, before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So let me just uh, scroll down and let me show you the workflow. So as you can see, I have already integrated Google Drive and Discord. That is why we had got the result in Discord. Now, this is an old workflow, so I'm going to switch this off. The reason being that I'm going to create a new workflow. And if this old workflow runs in parallel to the newly created workflow, it will create the problem of duplication of result. Basically, the same link will be shared twice on Discord. We don't want that. So I have switched off this workflow. But in your case, we don't have to be concerned because we are just going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. So I'm going to give a name. How about Google Drive to Discord? Okay, so this is the name. Let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive because we will be sending the data from Google Drive. Google Drive, okay, this one. Now in the trigger event, we want to set a trigger event. How about new file in a specific folder? So the idea is that if a new file 
if a if a new file is uploaded in a very particular folder the data will be sent okay so new file in a specific folder is a trigger event so your obvious question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if this condition is met what should be done for example if a new file is uploaded in a specific folder then what action should be taken by the system now we do have uh, one more trigger event that is new file now in case if you want more trigger events according to your choice all you have to do is just approach the help section click here and when you click on the help section you will be directed to pabli forums now in pabli forums you can make a request that you want so and so triggers so you just approach here in the feature request and make a request that you want such and such triggers okay so let me just go to pabli connect and let me just click on connect okay so in the new credentials let me just click on connect with google drive now as you can see uh, these are the series of accounts we have let it load okay so these are the series of gmail accounts we have i have actually and uh, i am interested in sharing the files from this account okay so i'm selecting this one so the idea is that the public connect will receive the data from this particular google drive so it is asking me to come for my choice so before i press allow let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data so your data is 100% safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow okay excellent the authorization is successful just press okay now as you can see by default it is showing a field that is folder and in the folder we have a folder that is showing programming errors this is because we only have one folder so let me just take you to my google drive and let me just show you that folder and let me just let it load okay so as you can see we have only one folder that is programming errors so that is why it is being reflected here programming errors now i plan to create one more folder okay so let me just create a folder and this folder will be about cars cars okay and let me just click on create okay so it is getting created yes a folder called as cars has been created so let me just go to public connect and let me just refresh this so i can expect to find this newly created folder that is cars in the drop down yes we do have the folder that is cars we have selected it now the idea is that when we click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created file in this particular folder now in our case let me just show you let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see the response is giving zero basically nil this is because in this folder since this folder was a newly created folder we hadn't uploaded any kind of file so what i'm going to do here is first i'm going to click here and i'm going to upload a file so how about we upload one more png image okay so let me just click on new and let me just click on upload a file okay so let me just uh, so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to go to quick access and i'm going to upload one more image okay so how about we upload the image of a ferrari okay so the image of a ferrari is getting uploaded so your obvious question is why are we working with images only well actually there is something i have to show you you can actually upload your spreadsheet google docs it doesn't really matter all can be saved or sent to a, a discord but uh, i am going to apply the filter so basically the idea is that when a particular type of folder is uploaded then only the data will be sent to discord okay so the file has been uploaded that is a png image of a ferrari so this is the image let it load okay so this is the image okay image of the ferrari car and what i'm going to do here is i'm just taking you back to pabli correct and once again i'm going to click on save and send test request this time this time it will show the image this time it will show the response so basically this is the id okay this is the id of the image okay so this is something really important you have to know now so other than that uh, what we are going to do here is we are going to make sure that only when a particular set of file is uploaded in google drive only that file is sent on discord for example if i upload a spreadsheet okay if i create or upload a spreadsheet in google drive that file won't be sent if i create a document or upload a document it won't be sent only let's say an image will be sent so that's the idea i'm going with that is why i'm planning to apply a filter so let me just uh, scroll down now this is a very redundant step you really don't have to do it because if the idea is that if your idea is that any kind of file is uploaded in google drive 
that type of file will be sent in Discord. Then this step is unnecessary. But I am going with the premise that if I upload only the images, then the data should be given to Discord. So that is why I am applying filter. Okay, I am repeating it again. This step is redundant. It's not necessary. You can just avoid this step. Okay, so in the choose app, we have made it as filter by Pabli. Okay, so now we have to select the condition. The condition is if the image type is, if the file type is image, okay, then only the data should be sent. Now we are just going to click here, go to the accordion and uh, I'm just going to type image. Okay, so this is the condition I'm going to give my type image that is PNG and I'm going to enter the condition image slash PNG. Okay, so we have set the condition. So when I click on save and send test request, it will show the condition as true because it is indeed true because uh, at present the image is equal to image slash PNG. So let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the condition is true. So basically we have established the condition if a file is uploaded in Google Drive and if the file is PNG image, then only it will be shared on Discord. Now, if you don't want this step, it is really redundant. You don't have to uh, create this step. You can just avoid it. Okay, so we have set up the condition. Now, basically, we have uh, the image. Okay, now we want to share it. Okay, so we will be sharing it via Google Drive. So let me just click on this plus button and another action window opens up. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive? Google Drive. Okay, Google Drive it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as share a file with anyone? So where is it? Where is it? Yeah, this one share a file with anyone. Let me just click on connect. Okay, so let me just again click on connect with Google Drive. So you already know the drill. We are going to select the account with which we are shared. We have uploaded the file. Okay, in my case is this is the one. Okay, so we have selected it. Okay, so the file is uh, getting uploaded. I mean, the authorization is getting completed. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let me just click on allow. Let me just click on allow. Okay. Okay, so it is again asking me to come for my choice. Let me just press allow. Okay, so as you can see, we have connected with a different uh, file, I think so. So let me just once again click on connect because I'm not sure with which uh, set we have connected with. So let me just once again go back because I'm not really sure with which uh, uh, Google Drive we have connected with. Because it was asking me once again that you want to share, it should not be asking that. So let me just once again click on. Okay, so this was the drive. Okay, so let me just click here. So this was the one we have selected it. Okay. Okay. So the authorization is complete. Now it is by default showing the file ID that is bukati.png. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make some changes and I'm going to make it as ferrari.png. Now this is the file that we want to share, but there is something wrong in this. This is a very static ID. Okay. So what's the meaning of static ID? So basically if a file, let's say, uh, What's the other name? How about a Lamborghini? If an image of Lamborghini is up uploaded here, this data won't change. Okay, so this is not a dynamic ID. This is basically a static one. So first of all, I'm just going to change this, okay, by toggling this to the right, going to remove this, okay, and I'm going to enter the dynamic one. So this is the dynamic ID we want. So we have mapped it. Excellent. So all we have to do at this point is just click on save and send test request. Okay, so we have the API response and it is showing the link. Okay, so basically this is the link that we are going to share. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and I'm just going to open this in a new tab. So let me just show you the link that we are going to share it on Discord. So this is the link. Okay, so this is the same image of the Ferrari. Excellent. So what we are going to do here is we are going to share this link on Discord. So to do that, let me just introduce one more action window. So in this action window, we are going to use the choose app as Discord. Discord it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as send channel message? Okay, send channel message it is. 
then click on connect in the new credentials let me just click on connect with discord okay okay so as you can see there is uh, something you have to do so basically it is asking me which with which server we want to connect now the server that we are working on is uh, at present is magenta now okay so this is the server that is magenta so before i integrate or before we create a new workflow for a specific discord channel i am going to dis i am actually going to delete this old server the reason being is the discord is having some issues these days and if you are working with the old server it won't send the data it will have trouble with authorization so what i'm going to do here is first i'm going to delete this particular uh, server okay so this is how you delete so let me just go to the server setting and let me just click on delete server okay so this is the name that we have to type so this is the name of the server magenta and let me just click on delete server okay so the server has been deleted excellent so what i'm going to do here is next i'm just um, going to create one more server okay for your consideration i'm going to create one more server so let me just click on create my own for me and my friends and uh, the server name is how about pinkish pinkish okay so our server name is ready let me just click on create okay so it is uh, getting created okay so a new server called as pinkish has been created so let me just go to public connect okay and uh, once again let me just click on connect and in the new credentials let me just click on connect with discord okay so it is not showing the server that we have recently created so let it load once again because we are going to send the channel message on the server that is pinkish okay so i hope this time we have the server that is pinkish yes we have the server that is pinkish okay let me just click on continue okay let me just click on authorize now will it will be asking that uh, are you a human or something so it's kind of taking time okay of course i'm a human okay i hope the authorization yes the authorization is successful now my point is very clear that if you are uh, trouble having problem with authentication in case of discord you actually have to delete the old server that is running your channel and then you have to create a new uh, server and then you have to integrate it with public connect so this is uh, something wrong with uh, discord not from public's perspective okay so as you can see we have uh, two extra blanks to fill the webhook id and the webhook token now these details can be found by creating one more action window okay so this is something that we don't have the webhook id and the webhook token we can know we already know the text message so basically here we, we will be entering the link of the google drive the link of the image okay so but we don't have the data of the webhook id and the webhook token so first we are going to create that so let me just introduce one more action window in between this window and this window okay so again we are going to use uh, discord okay so in the choose app discord it is this time we are going to create the action event as get channel id or something get channel webhook id or something so this is the action event okay get channel webhook yeah this one get channel webhook so using this action event we are going to get the webhook id and the webhook token in the new credentials let me just click on connect with discord okay so how about we just uh, go to the old setting okay we are not just going to create one more we are just going to the old setting and let me just click on save okay so as you can see uh, by default it is showing the text channel okay and for the text channels there is no webhook so basically we have created a new server that is known as pinkish now in the pinkish channel there is uh, only one ch uh, channel that is general so for this channel there is no webhook so what i'm going to do here is i'm just uh, going to create a new webhook okay so as you can see there is no webhook that is why it is uh, showing the webhook as it is returning the webhook as nothing nil so we are going to create a new webhook so let me just create a webhook so how about i give the name as uh, drive google just a random name okay and let me just click on save changes 
Okay, so a new web book has been created. Its name is Drive Google. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to refresh this. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it is not returning anything because we actually have to change the channel as a general. Okay, so let us see. We have uh, the web book associated with it. Okay, so let it load. So as you can see, we do have the webhook associated with this particular channel that is general. So let me just click on save and send test request. So when we click on save and send test request, we will find the webhook ID as well as the webhook token. So basically, this is the ID we want. Okay, so this is the ID we want. We are going to map this particular detail here. Okay, we are going to map this particular detail here. And there is something else that is the token. So, so where is the token? So let me just show you the token. So this is the token. Okay, yeah. So this is the token we want. We are going to map this particular detail here. Okay, we are going to map this particular detail here. So to get these details, let me just click on connect once again. Okay, and let me just click on save. Okay, so I think we are ready. So we are start. We are just going to keep uh, mapping all the details. So the webhook ID is this. We are just going to click here. And uh, let me just click on get channel webhook. Okay, the fourth accordion and we are just going to type map in the ID. Okay, so our ID is ready. Then we are going to map in the webhook token. So this is the webhook token. And we have mapped it. Excellent. Now coming to the message text. So message text is basically the file ID. So this is the one we want. Okay, this is the link. Okay, let me just add the link and we are ready. Now coming to the bot name. I'm just going to enter my name. So my name is Michael. Okay, and we are ready. The bot icon. Well, we don't have any data. I'm not going to paste any URL. I'm just happy with my icon, the default icon. All we have to do is just click on save and send test request to send the message. So the response is giving the data has been sent. So let's have a look. So let me just cancel this. So as you can see, it is showing the image of the Ferrari car. Okay, so this is the same image link we have. So the presence of uh, this uh, message shows that we have successfully integrated Google Drive and uh, Discord with help of Public Connect. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just going to minimize this action window. And I'm going to minimize this action window. And I'm going to minimize this action window. Going to minimize this action window. And I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Drive to Public Connect, and then you have uploaded a specific file. Now, this step that is filtered by Pabli is redundant. This step is only applicable when only you want to send a particular set of file to Discord. In my case, I just want to send the image type of file, the PNG dot of file. That is why we have set the condition that if the image file is uploaded in Google Drive, then only the data should flow to Discord. Now this step is redundant. If you want, you can just erase it. It's not really necessary. Now coming to the third step. So basically you've created a shareable link in Google Drive and then you have uh, integrated Discord so that you get a channel webhook and you have entered the channel webhook and the channel token webhook token. And after that, you map the basically you basically map the um, link into the message section and then you have sent and then you have integrated and then you have uh, clicked on save and send test request to send the message. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Drive and Discord. Excellent. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to share files to your team members. So imagine this, you are a team leader and you have uploaded some documents in your Google Drive. So you want your team members to have immediate access to these documents on Slack. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you just create a file link, copy that link, compose a message and paste that file link in Slack. Now this traditional approach is very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that when a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, it will automatically share this file on Slack. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Google Drive and Slack. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will actually begin with a small example. So this is my Google Drive and actually I have created a folder called as Tony Stark. And uh, as you can see, I already have uploaded a file. Now for your concentration, I'm going to upload a new file. Okay, so let me just uh, upload a new file here. So the name of the file is let's say Java programming. 
okay so the file is actually in my desktop and this is the name of the file java programming okay let me just upload this okay so the file is getting uploaded okay excellent so the idea is that whenever a file is uploaded in our google drive it will be reflected as a message in slack so your team members can just uh, check out the link and open the pdf or the file okay so it is uh, uploading okay so as you can see we do have a file called as the java programming for kids so this is the pdf okay java for kids and uh, these are the lessons excellent so let's have a look in the slack do we have the message concerning the same okay so let me just okay yeah we do have the message so let's just explore this link okay so as you can see it's the same file okay java for kids so basically this is the idea whenever a new file is uploaded in google drive it will be reflected as a message in slack now to begin the actual integration process we will be using an app called as pabli connect so let me just type pabli.com pabli.com it is okay so this is the website of pabli.com here just click on sign in okay so this is the dashboard of public connect as you can see i already have made an account in public connect you can also build your own free account in just two minutes so let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now okay so at the top right corner you will find a button create workflow click this our dialog box appears in front of you it is asking you to give a name to this workflow i'm going to give it as google drive to slack google drive to slack and then just click on create so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so in the choose app how about we make it as google drive okay this is because we want to send the data from google drive that is why google drive it is okay so now in the trigger event we want to send the file when a new file is uploaded in a specific folder so i'm making the trigger event as new file in specific folder new file in specific folder is a trigger event so your obvious question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if the condition is met what should be done for example if a new file is uploaded in google drive then what action should be taken by the system now at present we only have uh, two triggers that is new file and new file in specific folder now in case if you want more trigger events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepabri.com to custom build a trigger event for you but at present i just want to send the data when a new file is uploaded in a specific folder okay so what i'm going to do here is basically i'm trying to integrate google drive to public connect so let me just click on connect with google drive in the new credentials click on connect with google drive okay so as you can see i have a series of account now uh, this uh, particular google drive is uh, present in this gmail account okay so this is the gmail account with which this google drive is uh, uh, is being used okay so let me just click on allow okay excellent so it is showing the authorization is successful press okay so as you can see as i mentioned before uh, we do have uh, the folder okay so this is the folder called as tony stark so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going back to my drive and i'm just going to create a new folder okay so just uh, let me show you one more thing so when i explore the drop down you can find all the folders that is present folders as well as files that is present in my google drive so as you can see so these are all the folders that is present here and these are all the folders that is present here so the reason why it is it is showing all the folders in google drive here is because we have successfully integrated google drive to public connect so what i'm going to to do here is i'm just going to create a new folder so let me just click on new okay click on folder and uh, the name of the folder is uh, new kids pdf okay so just a random name and let me just uh, click on create okay so a new folder has been created new kids pdf so what i'm going to do here is uh, i'm just going to click on refresh so when i click on refresh i can expect to find this newly created folder in the drop down so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on refresh okay so yeah we do have the folder that is new kids pdf so i'm selecting this one so basically the idea is that we are going to integrate and receive the data from this particular folder so when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created folder okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to upload a folder in this particular folder i'm going to upload a particular file so let's say we are just uh, going to drop a file here and uh, the name of the file is c plus plus for kids okay so we have uh, 
we are uploading this file called as C++ for kids and we have uploaded it. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to Pabli Connect and I'm just going to click on save and send test request. I repeat again. So when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created folder. In our case, the recently created folder in this particular uh, folder is uh, C++ for kids. So let me just click on save and send test request to show you. Okay, so as you can see, we do have some data. So this is the ID of the file okay so this is the idea of the file and where is our file name okay yeah so this is our file name c plus plus for kids dot pdf okay so we have received the data of uh, this particular uh, file okay c plus plus for kids now we basically want to share this folder via google drive so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on a plus button so here another window opens up this window is called as the action window now basically what we are trying to do here is we are just going to uh, share this uh, particular file okay so this is the file that we want to share so let me just go to public connect okay let me just go to public connect and let me just type once again google drive so this is a very interesting case we have a google drive in the trigger window as well as Google Drive in the action window. So here in the action event, how about we make it as uh, share a file with anyone, okay? Share a file with anyone. And uh, of course, there are many more action events like uh, move a file, move a folder, share a file, and uh, create subfolder in share drive. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you have trouble finding the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate .com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to share a file with anyone. So let me just click on connect with Google Drive. In the new credentials, let me just click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so as you can see, we are just going to use the same account. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's just demanding access. Now, before you click on allow, let me just tell you something. Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So, on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, interesting. It's showing authorization is successful. Just press OK. So, as you can see in the file ID, it is by default showing Java programming for kids. Now, the issue with this is it's actually a very static ID because we will be uploading more and more folders and it should not be showing Java programming for kids for that folder. Okay, because at present we have uploaded a new folder that is C for kids. Now, the problem is that this is very static. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just remove this. Okay, and uh, I'm going to cancel this. So basically, this is the file ID we want. As I mentioned before, there was uh, something called as file ID. Okay. So when this drive was, when the data of this uh, particular uh, file that is C++ for kids was generated, it also created an ID. So basically, this is the ID we want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to map this particular detail here. Okay. So I'm just going to click on this mapping button, click on this new accordion. And just I'm going to map this. Okay, so we have mapped it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on save and send test request. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so as you can see, these are the results of uh, the API response. And uh, there is something I actually want to show you. So basically, we will be sharing a link. So we have a shareable link. So this is the one we want. So let's just explore this. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it here. Okay. So this is the link. Okay, so as you can see, this is the same link that we want. So my Slack members, my Slack team members will be just downloading this link. So basically, the idea is that we will be sharing this link on Slack. Okay, so first of all, let me just click on this plus button. Okay, so we are going to introduce uh, one more action window. So in the choose hub, how about we make it as Slack? Slack it is. Okay, now in the action event, how about we make it as send channel message without image? This one. And let me just click on connect with Slack. In the new credentials, connect with Slack. Okay, so public connect is demanding access. So as I mentioned before, we don't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So let me just press allow. Okay, so the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So as you can see, uh, we have a set of blanks in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create a message to deliver a file via slack now well, first of all let's deal with the channel so as you can see in the drop down we have a ton of channels this is because in my slack account there are ton of channels okay so these are all the channels that is present in my slack account now all the channels that is present here is being simply reflected here so first of all what i'm going to do here is for this particular uh, uh, video for this particular workflow i'm going to add a new channel okay so let me just create a new channel so the name of the channel is let's say um 
new google drive file okay so this is the newly created channel and of course i'm not going to enter any description let me just click on create okay so we have created a new channel and we have added three members to the channel so let's just press on done okay so we have created a new channel and we have added three people to it so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to going back to Pabli connect and since Pabli connect is integrated with slack let's have a look when i click on refresh i can expect to find this newly created channel in the drop down so this is the newly created channel <laughs> where is our newly created channel so yeah so this is the one new google drive file okay so basically i have added all the members in this particular channel and when i upload the message when i upload the file they will be getting the file on this particular channel in slack now in the message type we have to make some changes here we have to make sure that we it is in markdown okay now coming to the message so i'm just going to type some simple message first the link of the file okay and uh, here I'm just going to map in the link of the file. So here we have two accordions. I'm sorry about my battery. Okay. So here we have uh, two accordions, a Google Drive new file specific folder and share a file with anyone. So I'm going with the last one. And this is the link that we want to share and we have mapped it. Now coming to the bot name. So my name is Michael. Okay. And I prefer to make this thing as static. But at the same time, I also want to make sure that uh, along with the bot name i should be having the name of the file so it's just uh, redundant but i'm just doing it okay c plus plus four kids okay so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the message has been sent so let's have a look so this is uh, how it would look like michael c plus plus four kids so this is my name and this is the name of the file and the link of the file and we can just explore the link so as you can see, we have the PDF of the link that is C++ for kids. Excellent. Okay, so basically this is the file. So the presence of this uh, particular file shows that in Slack shows that we have successfully integrated Google Drive and Slack with help of public Connect. Now before you go away, let me just uh, explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just uh, going to minimize this action window. I'm going to minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize this trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Drive to Public Connect and then you have integrated again Public Connect to Google Drive so that you can share a file with anyone. And then of course, you have integrated Slack to Public Connect so that you can share the channel message. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Drive and Slack. Hello, everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to share Google Drive's file on WhatsApp. So imagine this, you are working in a company. And you have just recently uploaded a file on their Google Drives. So you want to notify your boss on WhatsApp. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy the link from Google Drive and manually paste it to send it on WhatsApp to your boss. Or you can bring in some automation. So here, when a new file is uploaded or created in Google Drive, it will automatically send this file link on WhatsApp. Now in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect. to integrate Google Drive and WhatsApp. Now this little integration can be done in very few steps. And the best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products, and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. And then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Public Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Google Drive to WhatsApp. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive because we want to send the data from Google Drive. That is why. 
Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file? Okay, so new file is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new file. Now in case, if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new file is uploaded in Google Drive. Okay, so basically at this point, all we have to do is just click on connect with Google Drive. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Google Drive. So these are the series of uh, Gmail accounts I have and I want to connect with this uh, particular Google Drive. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so now Public Connect is demanding access to confirm my choice. Just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So usually what happens is after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, we just copy the webhook URL into the trigger software. But in this case, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request. So when we click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded file in Google Drive. I repeat again, when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded file in Google Drive. Let me show you. Let me just upload a new file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload a file. Okay, so we are going to upload this file, Scarlett Johansson. Okay, so this is the file and it is being uploaded. Okay, the file has been uploaded. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to public connect and when I click on save and send test request, it will uh, fetch the data of uh, this particular file, Scarlett Johansson. So let me do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, it is showing the name as Scarlett Johansson dash one. Okay, so this is the file. So let me just uh, scroll down and let me just uh, open the link. Okay, so this is the link. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and open this in the new tab. Okay, so this is the same photo that we had uploaded. Okay, so let me show you. Yes, this is the same photo that we had uploaded. So my point is uh, we have successfully got this data. Now we want to send it to WhatsApp. Now there is one minor problem. Now this link is not exactly a shareable link. I mean, when I send this data to an end user, he will, he will be having trouble in opening this link. Let me show you. Let me just again copy this link and open this in an incognito mode. So I'm just pasting this link and trying to open it. Okay, so this is how the end user will feel like. So basically he has to enter my credentials to access this file. So that is the problem. So basically we have to convert this link into a shareable one. So to do that, just scroll down and click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive once again, Google Drive. Now in the action event, how about we make it as share a file with anyone. Okay, so this is the action event we want. Then again, click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so this time we are going with this one. This is the recent setting. Okay, so let's just click on save. Okay, so in the file ID, it is showing it as we will rock you. This is not the file we want. So basically, we want to map this file ID. Let me show you the file ID. Okay, so this is the file ID we want to map. So how about we remove this? Okay, toggle this to the right remove this and let's map the file ID. So this is the file ID we want and let's just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the response. So now this uh, ID is showing that anyone with link. So basically anyone with this link can access this file. Excellent. So now we are ready to sync all this data to WhatsApp. So we are going to send a WhatsApp message via chat API. So let's uh, click on this plus button. And in the choose app, how about we make it as uh, chat API, chat API. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as send a link. Okay, so just click on connect with chat API. Now in the new credentials, we have to enter the API URL as well as the token. Now to get the API URL as well as the token, let's go to uh, chat API. So this is the API URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so coming to the token. Again, go back to the chat API. So copy this. This is the token you want and paste it here. Easy. Okay. So we have entered the API URL. Also, we have entered the token. So let me just click on save. Okay. So when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. Now, before we start mapping, there is something you should know. There is something called as base64 encoded required. So basically, we want to convert the file into a base64 encoding. So what is that? So I will explain you in a very few simple terms. 
So base64 is an encoding scheme that converts binary data into text format so that the encoded textual data can be easily transported over network which is uncorrupted and without any data loss. So the problem with sending normal binary data to a network is that bits can be misread which produces incorrect data at the receiving node and that is why we have to convert using this code. So if you don't get it, it's simply simply like this. If you're going to send a file, you basically have to convert using base64 encoding. So to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. It's really easy. You don't have to worry. We don't have to use any kind of coding or anything. Uh, so we are going to use uh, data transformer. Okay. And in the action event, just uh, click on base64 encode. Okay. So just click on connect with data transformer. Now in the data, we have to map in the data. So basically our data is the file, the link of the file that we want. So just scroll down and this is the file link. So we have mapped it and let me just click on save and send us request. Okay, so the API response is showing this is the encode data. So this is the one we want. So basically we have to map this data here. Okay, we have to map this data here. Now let me just again refresh this. So this is the recent one. Let me just click on save. Okay, so let's start mapping. So in the contact group, we are going to leave it as blank because uh, we are planning to send individual message. So we are leaving it as blank. Now in the phone number, we are just going to type in the phone number. So this is the phone number that I want to send the data to. So now we have uh, entered the phone number. Now coming to the body. So this is the body. Basically, that's the link. So this is the link. So we have mapped it. Now coming to base64 encoded, this is something that we have uh, recently derived. So let me just, just scroll down and just map it. So this is the data that we need. Okay, base64 encoded. So this is something that we have derived here. Okay, so we have mapped it. Now in the title, so the title is uh, Scarlett Johansson-1. So we are just going to uh, map that detail. So this is the title. Now in the description, uh, we can just uh, map in the detail like uh, since this account belonged to this guy called as Mark Mavis. Uh, so we are just going to type like uh, or uh, this file is from okay and just type the name of the owner of the file so that is uh, Michael Karras okay so this is the guy okay so this is uh, this file is from Michael Karras and this is the title and then we have uh, the encoding and of course the body of the message that's the basically this is the link okay and this is the phone number that's the where the message will be sent so all i have to do is uh, just click on save and send test request to send the message so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent so let me just uh, look into whatsapp did we really get the link okay so i'm opening web whatsapp okay so let's have a look did we really get the whatsapp message okay yeah we do have a message okay yes scarlett johansson so let's explore the link okay yes this is the correct form okay so this is the link that we wanted okay so the presence of uh, this image shows that we have successfully integrated google drive and whatsapp with help of public Connect. so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but before we do that, let me take you to Public Connect and let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just going to minimize my action window. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this action window. I'm going to minimize this action window and of course I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrate your Google Drive to Public Connect and then you have converted uh, the link to a shareable link. Okay, and then you have used the data transformer. And of course, you have connected chat API to public connect. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Drive and chat API, I mean WhatsApp. So how about we go to Google Drive and how about we just create a new file. This time I'm not going to upload any uh, image. This time I'm going to create a new sheet. Okay, so how about we work with the Google Sheet? Okay, so the name of the Google Sheet I'm going to enter is uh, Okay, data, database 101. Okay, so this is the newly created uh, file. Okay, so let's have a look in WhatsApp. Did uh, WhatsApp, uh, did we really have a link of uh, this particular uh, sheet? Okay, so we have got the message and this is the link, database uh, 101. So let's explore that. So I have uh, clicked on this link. Yes, it's the correct Spreadsheet, excellent. So our integration is working absolutely fine. It means anytime a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, it will be reflected as a link in WhatsApp. So file uploads is now coming inside Public Connect. 
as you can see what I have done is I have added few file links inside my Google Sheet file and you can see the first link is .mp4, the second link is .png, the third link is .png, .png, .png and .png. Okay, so I have connected and added six file links inside my Google Sheet file and now this file links can actually be added from a Pabli Connect automation. So for example, let's say if you are scraping something or if you have file links and you are adding those file links inside the Google Sheet file, those files will automatically be downloaded from the remote source and they will actually be uploaded inside your Google Drive file in real time. We have developed an add-on which actually makes it possible to do the very same thing and I'm going to demo the very same thing on how you can download the files and upload those files to Google Drive in real time with the help of that very same add-on that we have created. So as you can see, this is an add-on menu right here. Now you just have to go to add-on and click on get add-ons right here. As soon as you do that, just search for Pabli, okay? And you will actually find two different uh, Chrome extensions. In fact, they are Google Sheets extensions. So you will actually find two different extensions. This is for webhooks. And this is the one extension that you have to use. The add-on name is Upload Files to Google Drive. Just make sure that you click on it and click on Install button. Because I have already installed it, you will see an Uninstall button right here, but otherwise it will be an Install button that you will see. Once the add-on is installed, just click on Add-ons button right here and click on Pabli Save to Drive, okay? Once you are into Pabli Save to Drive, the first option that you have to do is you just have to click on Setup menu right here. Click on Setup. The file URL, you, you actually have to give three different values. First is the sheet name. So the sheet name is right here on the bottom. You can see sheet one. I have already added my sheet name. Then you have to mention the URL column on which all the URLs are placed. So you can see on column A, I have all the URLs right here. So I'm just going to write the name of URL column as A. And then I have to mention my destination drive folder ID. So if I go back to my Google Drive, all Google Drive's uh, whatever folder it is have a folder ID and you can actually find your folder ID right here after the folders options right here. So if you see the URL structure like drive.google.com slash drive slash folders, this is going to be the folder ID to which you want to save the files. So I'm just going to copy this folder ID and I'm just going to uh, enter the folder ID right here by pressing control plus V. You can also right click and paste. And once this is set, just click on set button right here. Okay. And you can see the setup is configured successfully and you can just click on close button right here. Now, if you go back to add on, you have actually two different options right here. First is save on a schedule. If you enable this option, what it will do is it will trigger the automation every one hour and it will automatically save all the file URLs which are automatically added to this file into Google Drive, okay? So save on schedule is something which is a set and forget type of option where you can save on schedule. It will automatically trigger every one hour and it will pick up all the file URLs and it will upload those files to Google Drive. If new files are getting added to the very same sheet, it will pick new files uh, automatically. It will not upload the very same file again, which has been uploaded already. The next is the save now option, which is an instant option. If you really want to download and upload some files instantly into your Google Drive, you can actually use the save now option right here. Just click on save now, and I will be showing you how the save file options work on instantly. You can see the starting row index is something that it is asking us for. So the row index in our case will be two because Starting the row number two, we actually have all our files and then it is asking us for the number of rows that it should pick up. In our case, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have actually six rows that the software needs to pick up. So I will say that I want to fetch six rows uh, instantly. Okay, so it will start from row number two and then it will start and pick six rows from the row number two. Okay, and once you set up those options, just click on save to drive. 
let me just go back to my drive you can see i don't have any file uploaded right here we are going to see six files added to my google drive after i click on save to drive option right here so i'll just click save to drive button right here i will have to wait for few minutes and currently the operation that is going on background is it is actually downloading and fetching the files whatever the remote source is it will be downloading the files from that remote source and then it will be pushing those files inside my google drive folder and all the files will be added to my google drive in real time so you can see the save operation has been completed successfully and now i can just close down this window and you can see the status is right here file number this has been added to drive file number this has been added to drive file number this has been added to drive let me just go back to my drive and see if I've, all the files have been uploaded so you can see png 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 there are one two three four and five png files that have been uploaded i can just click on those files and i can see the files have been uploaded this is one of our team's photo and then you can also see the mp4 file which has been uploaded you can just click on double click on mp4 file and you can see the mp4 file is also uploaded to the google drive so as you can see everything looks fine and everything has been uploaded if you really want to set it up as setup and forget you can just go to add-ons again again go to pably save to drive click on save on schedule now it will what it will do is it will automatically save any file url that has been added after row 7 probably because you have already uploaded files until row 7. so any new files that you add after row 7 will automatically be fetched after an hour and they will automatically be uploaded to google drive if you go back to add on pably save to drive you can see the tick option right here which essentially means that this specific option is enabled right now and the files will start to be uploaded automatically as soon as the trigger runs in an hour so again thank you for watching this video and let me know if you have any questions you can always reach out to pably team at admin at pably.com thank you